Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 23 and it is our final round of the debut season of the Moto3 Championship. It is time for the circuit of Ricardo Tormo of Valencia. So my best qualifying of the season, I snagged pole position. We will wait for the lights to disappear and here we go. Now I have no idea what difficulty I changed this to because I know recently the AI in Moto3 is not so great and it's very uh, inconsistent. But I do believe I was able to bump up the difficulty for here in Valencia and the AI was quite fair. So we should have a pretty good race on our hands here today. We've got a six lap dash for the cash here in Valencia. So coming out of the Dewan Corner on board the Vision Track Honda, we're looking pretty solid to start this one off. But who knows how long the power setting will be remaining in three. Now recently I have been discussing in the previous career mode videos that I think the power setting 3 is bugged. Now in the past races I haven't been able to really tell yes or no because in some races it's been consistent and the fuel has dropped and in some races I can stay in power setting 3 for the entire duration of this race. Now it does seem to be going down so hopefully the fuel will take its part into this race but already it's sort of teetering around plus 0.3 and that's what it was the same in Sepang but it does look like it is going down. Now of course if you feel like you've missed a video from me in the career mode then I accidentally uploaded two videos the other day so uh, yeah the second race of the career mode will be there so if you don't want to miss that one you don't want me to spoil it I would highly recommend you go and watch that video now before you continue with the rest of this video. So into the final sector we go for turn 13 and then into the Adrian Campos corner. Holgado is behind us by around two to three tenths of a second. And of course, Holgado is my new championship rival. After dispatching of Reusa Yamanaka in the previous two rounds, Holgado has been our new challenger for the season. And of course, only one race to go. Marrera and Holgado are actually battling and duking it out for the championship right now. So we are probably in the worst position possible for those two riders, but I don't care. <laughs> We're focusing on our own race and it seems to be going as planned so far. Now I, I really don't remember what the difficulty was changed to here. I, I, I'm going to have to try and find out and remember what it was because I didn't record this part of the video where I check. And I think I even pushed it up. I'm pretty certain I did push it to around 95 or 100. I really don't remember and the AI has been inconsistent as best here in Moto3 so I wanted to try and tell you which one it is so I can give you an indication of what you should be choosing. I'll probably have to do some races myself and figure out what it is after this video but for time being I can't tell you what the difficulty is on but I know it was a, a little bit higher than Qatar because at Sepang they were ridiculously quick. Sepang, uh, sorry Qatar they was also very quick and then here in Valencia they really weren't too bad. I, what I was doing is doing a practice exiting the session, gauging where I am against the competition and then either increasing or decreasing the AI's uh, difficulty. Now, wait, are my eyes deceiving me? No, my eyes are not deceiving me. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have our, we're gonna have our first spots of rain on the camera lens here. Oh no, this is a shock and a half. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't even realize we had the variable weather and it could be down to this, the unexpected has happened. It did look a little bit cloudy, but you know what? I kind of just desensitized myself from it. I'm so used to just racing and focusing on the on the track that it didn't even occur to me that, ladies and gentlemen, we could potentially be having a wet weather race here. Now, it depends how much the weather comes down, because if this rain really starts to book it, and we have only so many laps to go, the chances are that we'll be restarting this race. But if we can continue for another two or three laps, could very well be ended. This could be a race ending quicker than I hoped for. Now it's a good job I shot out to the front and just dashed for the money. But a six tenths of a second gap behind is a Marrera and then Holgado. The weather is coming down. It's uh, The precipitation is here. This could be for an interesting finish. Now how much does it affect the bike? I did try running some slick tyres in the wet before and i got to say it is difficult you're not able to turn in at all and the bike just spins up upon the exits. Is it going to do the same here? The gap is still hovering around five tenths of a second. Ladies and gentlemen, if we cross the line, 
this this race could end. Oh, it's getting difficult to turn in. Really struggling to turn the bike in for turn 11 there. We uh, couldn't quite get the speed, unlike the speed from the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of the screen there, but never mind. Marrera has taken over at the front. I'm beginning to really struggle now. Oh my goodness. The, it, the, yeah, the white flags are something. The red flag's got to come out soon, surely. I can't do anything. I, I'm a sitting duck here. Do I drop the power? I can't afford to drop the power, but across the line, this is going to be an interesting part now because Marrera is in the lead. And look at that championship graphic to the right hand side. One point separates the two championship antagonists, or protagonists in this case. Marrera leads by just a single point. Holgado's moved backwards, now he's down to third. So Marrera would be your world champion. We're into the Doan corner. We've got to look at the red flag situation here now, ladies and gentlemen. This is getting crazy. It's getting so difficult for me to move the bike in here. Oh, red flag! It's it! That's it! That's the, ra that's the race ended. What's it going to be, though? From... I won? <laughs> what? The first victory in Moto3, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh! Now, I'm kind of confused, because I thought it went to the last lap. And by the end of the last lap, Diogo Moreira took over at the front. Holgado there. We're all neck and neck. I I'm... I'm lost. <laughs> Answer in the, in the comment section, please. I believe Marrera should have won that one, right? Because he crossed the line ahead of me in the lap. Ah, but then he goes down to the back. He goes to the last sector, doesn't it, of the previous lap? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure in this one, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below if you know the answer. But I do believe it goes down to the final sector, which would have been the Adrian Campos corner. And there I was leading the way. So... The first victory, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, unexpected, and this race ended quicker than I really expected and hoped for, really. So, I guess that's it. Bit of a four-lap dash in this video here today. But anyway, I digress. Championship has been concluded. It looks like Marrera took the victory, but I don't know who had the more victories out of Holgado and Marrera. So, we'll be going up against a world champion in the form of the Brazilian next season. But I've got to decide on which team I'm going to be joining with after this video so stay tuned for my results but uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed this video guys thank you very much for watching the video i will be extending the laps for the future races but for the debut i'm happy that we got this done and i'm ready to start the next season so guys thanks for watching it's been a pleasure to make this video for you i hope you enjoyed as well if you did like comment and subscribe and even join the dot trace pit crew if you want some exclusive emojis and just to join the team thanks for watching guys ciao for now Oh hi! Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.